How to put together a prayer nook. Wow! Each day is a gift to be opened with prayer. We all know that life is fleeting and that every moment is a heaven sent gift. Every moment is borrowed and tomorrow is not promised. We only live well by the grace of God. Everything we experience, whether happy or sad things, can be made sense of in the light of prayer. Life is indeed fragile. Let's handle it with prayer. It's simple to create our own space of refuge. We don't have to live in a big mansion to have a dedicated home altar. If you have a shelf, drawer, cabinet, or a bit of wall space, then you can designate that as your prayer nook. Some even use their closet. Here is someone using her mobile prayer nook. She can take it to a different room or even outdoors. Such a great idea! As we reflect on God's unfathomable love for us this season of Lent, let us clean, beautify, and organize our home altar and make it a conducive space for prayer and meditation. Pope Benedict XVI said, Lent is like a long retreat, during which we can turn back into ourselves and listen to the voice of God in order to defeat the temptations of the evil one. It's a period of spiritual combat which we must experience alongside Jesus, not with pride and presumption, but using the arms of faith, prayer, listening to the word of God, and penance. In this way, we will be able to celebrate Easter in truth, ready to renew the promises of our baptism. Here are some suggested items for your sacred space. You don't need all of these, but since you're meeting the King of Kings, they do come in handy in keeping our hearts and minds attuned to His presence. The ultimate sign of God's saving grace in our lives is the Holy Cross. When we see it, we remember that Jesus died in our place and took upon himself all of our sins. This should fill our hearts with unending gratitude and awe. Daily reading of God's word is like listening to him, speaking to us and guiding us on our way. Let's make this a habit. It's God's love letter to us, and the more we take it to heart, the more we can grow in wisdom and joy. The practice of lighting candles originated in early Christian history. It helps us focus and ignore distractions. It gives us a sense of calm and slows us down. It helps us recall that Christ is the light of the world and that we can do our part to share his light with others. Small statues and figurines of Jesus and the Holy Family serve as your pictures of them. Our favorite saints serve as worthy reminders of how to live rightly. The practice of displaying these figures began in the Old Testament when God directed his people to sculpt cherubims and place them in the temple. Many saints who died for the faith are represented by palms because in ancient times, palms signified victory. Those who have stayed faithful to God until their last day on earth will be given the crown of life. Other plants and flowers have different meanings like lilies symbolize purity. They serve to make your prayer nook a prettier place. If we hold certain holy men and women in high esteem, we can also strive to live as they did. One way is to pray just like them. The Psalms or Liturgy of the Hours are good examples of these. If we fall time and time again and need a little more help becoming better Christians, the Holy Rosary is a powerful weapon in fighting evil. Many have overcome vices by meditating on the life of Christ through the prayers of his Holy Mother. For us who are visual learners, pictures are very helpful 
during our quiet times. Our minds have a tendency to wander, so vignettes from the life of our Lord and of His saints give us a good perspective. A good practice is to picture ourselves in the Bible scenes and to think of what God is telling us through the experience. The Lenten season is the perfect time to turn off the TV and social media. Books are still the best way to enlightenment. Jot down your blessings as well as the things you've learned from your time with God. Your journal can also hold a section on petitions or people you want to pray for. Place other items like holy oil or blessed salt for a house blessing here too. A nice tablecloth or doily on the surface will make it more special. All the items that draw your spirit heavenward can be collected here. We at Papa Melody hope that our products become a blessing in your home. Each store you visit has a prayer nook where you can read all the inspirational messages to build up your faith. You're always welcome with us. Our newest collection called the Prayer Nook is now available. More exciting products are coming soon that will be added to this set during this season. We hope you enjoy this video and that you spend many beautiful moments with our Lord.